Hello everyone, Dick Dash is here. So Pfizer company from US apparently managed to produce a vaccine that is 90% active and WHO also agree on the protocol that they follow. So in this video, I want to discuss a little bit about this vaccine and what is my take on this vaccine. So if you're interested, please follow me through this video. And if it was interesting, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's get into it. Pfizer company has announced the success of their vaccine and they already received millions of orders and they promised to deliver more than 1 billion dosage by next year. So in this video, I want to explain to you the pros and cons of this vaccine. Very simple. First, the negative part. This vaccine can only cause immunity to 90% of the population and this result achieved at the last stage of their uh, testing. So it means they test around 10 to 30,000 people at their last stage and they conclude it can only cause 90% uh, immunity. Means uh, 90 out of 100 people who receive this vaccine can get the immunity, but still 10% won't be able to get it. This is the first uh, negative part. The second negative part is, they have no idea how long this immunity will last. Because these are belonging to the new generation of the vaccine, which I will explain after this, they are not sure how long the body will memorize to produce the same antibody after receiving this vaccine. And the last part. The last negative part of this vaccine is the method of its activation means these new vaccines are very different from the old style vaccine. Therefore, the way they uh, make our body produce the antibody is different as well. So I will explain all of these one by one. So before I explain that, let me explain the good part of this vaccine. First of all, this vaccine can buy us some time till the other companies hopefully come with a better vaccine or they find the cure. And the lastly, because of the new uh, technology they're using, the mass production is very easy, is not as difficult. Therefore, in a very short amount of time, as you can see by three months, they are managing to produce more than 1 billion dosage. At least they promised it. So now let me break down. These are the positive and the negative part. Now, if you want to know more, please follow this video. Why the 90% immunity of this vaccine is not uh, very suitable and it's not very desirable? Because, first of all, when at the last stage of the testing, they say it's 90%. When it distribute between the nation, because the variation of the genetic and different situation, it is highly possible that the number will decrease. Mean instead of 90% of the whole population, maybe we can, at the best scenario, get 80 75% of the immunity between the people who are getting this vaccine. That's the first downside. So this first downside combined with the second downside, which is we don't know how long this vaccine can cause immunity within the people, and it can make a very difficult situation. Why? Because imagine even the 90% be the correct number. Out of 100 people, 90 people get immunity and 10 people doesn't get the immunity and these 10 people still can carry the virus and spread it to each other at the same time as you all may have read this virus can go to the animals to dogs to the cats and also right now in Denmark they killing more than 15 million minks that they produce for the fair but because they find the virus with them they want to eliminate all so Basically, this virus stay in the environment, whether inside the human or inside the animal or on the surface, because it can last long on the surfaces up to more than 20 days. So these 10 10% of the population will keep on carrying the virus while the 90% get temporary immunity. Means we're not sure this uh, immunity will last six months, eight months or nine months. So once these people lost their immunity, they still can get the virus. And if you get the virus already, the vaccine is useless. Therefore, the cycle of this virus in the environment won't break. We cannot eradicate this virus with this type of vaccine. 
if the last negative part of this vaccine is because, as I mentioned, the method of its activation. The problem is because in the new generation of vaccine, as I mentioned in my previous videos, they use the different type of virus which carrying the gene of the coronavirus unless this vaccine managed to be activated inside our body by infecting so many cells it become useless means that if our immune system destroy this vaccine before it managed to infect our cells it is useless so that bring the chance lower means if your immune system itself is very alert and strong it is more possible that you do not get immunity by using this vaccine. That's why this vaccine always come in two dosage within the distance of the three to four weeks. So these are the negative part. As I said, the positive side also, but the conclusion of this story is this is a good vaccine. It can be helpful for us, but it is not the answer. It cannot break the cycle. The cycle of the coronavirus it continues unless there be a new vaccine that can totally give a hundred percent of immunity and also uh, or a drugs that can cure the coronavirus infection. So that was for today. I hope this video was uh, informative for you. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. Until next time, I wish you all stay safe and well.